So last week, the amazing team over at Dell were kind enough to send me not one, not two, but three of their brand new XPS devices for 2023. Now I'm not gonna go over all of these devices today. I'll break this up into a few different videos because that's just way too much XPS to fit into one video. I was lucky enough though to catch up with the Dell training and development team to get their rundown on the devices. So I will go into that info in these videos as we do them as well. But right now, we're gonna take a closer look at the XPS that is stepping into a category which has been predominantly led by devices like the Microsoft Surface Pro. And that is of course the XPS 13 2-in-1. As always, you gotta love that Dell XPS packaging, everything made from 100% recycled materials. And when you take this out of the box, there's actually two parts. So the main box has the device, which is that one right there. And then the second part of it actually has the XPS stylus folio keyboard. That one there. So that's it there. Tablet PCs or two-in-ones like this one here have become a staple in most homes, schools, and offices now thanks to their versatility and portable form factor. Now, initially, I'm talking like 10 plus years ago, tablets were all the rage for things like media consumption and mobile gaming. But today, when you look at factors like the speed, the power, and the versatility of devices like this one here, there's so much more than just something to watch Netflix or play games on. So what exactly makes a tablet PC or a two-on-one -on like this good? Well, Dell have branded this particular device their most versatile XPS to date, from work to learning to life. You can use it as a laptop, as a tablet, a sketch pad for video calls, a device that can take on anything, pretty much anywhere. First, I wanna go over the design. Starting with this keyboard. So the XPS Folio is a detachable keyboard that instantly transforms your XPS 13 2-in-1 into a genuine laptop experience. The magnetic folio attaches at the base and supports three different angle adjustments with magnets. And you can do that at 100 degrees, 112.5 degrees, and 125 degrees. So you can adjust the position of your device to your liking. Now, one big advantage of this keyboard folio is that it also covers the back of the device so it's gonna help protect against things like scratches, dents, and chips. And it also includes a neat little cutout to help protect that fancy camera. And we're gonna to get to that shortly. Now, if you look closely at this key layout, you'll see that there's virtually no spacing in between the keys with this edge-to-edge -edge zero lattice design, giving it that clean, streamlined look and feel. But that's not the only snazzy accessory that comes in the box with the XPS 13 2-in-1, because you also get this. Designed exclusively for the XPS 13 2-in-1, you can now express your creativity with a natural writing and inking experience with the XPS Stylus. And its precise pressure sensitivity gives the XPS Stylus highly accurate inking capabilities, making it feel as if you're actually putting pen to paper. Awesome. The XPS Stylus snaps magnetically to the top of the device in either direction for dummy-proof charging and you can personalize your XPS stylus with these programmable buttons on the side here. So you can launch a particular program or just erase some unwanted text with the simple click of a button. It can last up to 50 days before you need to charge it again with a full recharge taking less than two hours. And if by some reason or some miracle you happen to misplace your stylus, because that never happens, right? It also has built-in tile functionality that helps you locate it on a map and it will then notify you when it's found. Adaptability, flexibility, and versatility are key when it comes to creating more personal computing on something like this XPS. So if you find yourself in a situation where you need to take advantage of that mobile user experience, Windows 11 has redefined how that all works so that it adapts to you and what you're doing. And that means that Windows will always look and feel like Windows, especially without a keyboard. And it's the little things that make a big difference, like having more space between the icons on the taskbar, 
bigger touch targets to make resizing and moving windows easier, and readjusting windows when you rotate the screen. Plus, you can still use the same gestures that you're already familiar with when using a trackpad, so you don't have to relearn how to use your device. And because Windows 11 is pretty bang on when it comes to recognizing what you say, voice typing is another tool you can utilize to get the most out of the tablet experience on your device. Now, I'm hoping you can see this through the camera, but there is a very strong industrial design look and feel to this, thanks to the CNC milled hydropower produced aluminum chassis. It feels very solid, almost unbreakable. I mean, I'm sure it's not, but you get what I mean. The IPS touch display with edge to edge Gorilla Glass has a 2880 by 1920 resolution with a three by two aspect ratio, which might sound a bit different, but it's kind of perfectly matched for the size of this device. On the top here, you'll find the power button, which is also a fingerprint reader. And opposite that, we have the volume rocker keys. Now, flipping over to the sides, we've got the speaker grills on the side at the bottom there. And flipping over to the other side, we've got another set of speaker grills at the bottom and two Thunderbolt 4 ports. Now, you're probably like me and you're thinking, uh, only two Thunderbolt 4 ports on this device? But just remember, there's a ton of capability when it comes to Thunderbolt 4. As is always the case with a lot of Dell's devices, you can actually spec this out to whatever particular needs you might have. You can choose between an Intel Evo i5 or i7 processor, 8 or 16 gigabytes of RAM, and for storage, you've got the options of either a 256, 512, or one terabyte M.2 SSD. Okay, I would have to say the one thing I have heard the most about on this device before I even managed to get my hands on it was the camera. All the YouTube videos, the TikTok videos, all the reviews, everything. It was all about how amazing the camera was on a device that was impossibly thin and light and how it just didn't make any sense. The front-facing Full HD RGB camera, which is what you'd use for like Teams calls, any type of video call, Facebook, whatever it might be, all that sort of stuff, can shoot up to 1080p at 30 FPS. Then with the world-facing camera, as Dell likes to call it, which is this one right at the back here, this one can shoot 2160p at 30 FPS. Now that got me thinking, as a videographer, I know for a fact I've had to film on cameras well below that spec. So that's exactly what I did. I made a video using the camera on the XPS 13 2-in-1, and here it is. In the heavily populated world of 2-in-1 devices, you could argue that the Dell XPS 13 2-in-1 is a more versatile option, especially if you want an everyday detachable unit rather than those typical 360 degree hinge hybrid type devices. Aesthetically, it's an impressive looking piece of technology with that industrial machine design language. The display is incredibly sharp and the cameras go above and beyond what you'd expect to see in this type of device. Now, I totally understand that this two-in-one format isn't for everyone, but if it is your jam and you are a fan of the hybrid concept, particularly something with a detachable folio, then it might pay to check it out because I'm sure you will agree that the Dell XPS 13 two-in-one definitely has a lot to offer.